Next dream, same day. I'm at the, uh, I'm at, um, this, this, like, camp thing. I don't know. I think it was maybe for college or something. I was there with, um, I was there with David, Eric, Jacob, a few other people, and, uh, I remember getting there on, like, a bus and showing up to this little, like, camp. This little, like, uh, uh, canopy, like, area with, like, lawn chairs. That was where we first started off, then we went, like, two blocks over, and it was our, <coughs> it was our place to stay. We played Smash some days, and, uh, <coughs> I think it was, like, one night or something we did that, and then... Well, I don't know, it was insane, and then something happened, and after, like, a day of being there, we were getting kicked out, so we had to go to, or we got in trouble by, like, some leader or something, so we went to, um, we went to, we went back to the canopy where we started off, where we got dropped off by a bus, and the leader was saying, yeah, we, uh, you guys are going to leave, and I was like, well, I'm going to go back and pack all my stuff. I don't want to pack it in the morning. I was like, okay. So I went back. I didn't pack anything. I went back and ended up in some, uh, I think it was, it was like a, U it was like the U a UTSA, like, college, like, hallway sort of thing. Oh, no, on, on my way back, actually, uh, I actually fa passed by a flea market, and I was looking at everything, and... There's one table with a bunch of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. One table with, like, uh, crystal balls. Not, like, snow globes. Like, Mario and Bowser and stuff. And tons of, like, little Mario things. The Bowser one, like, I shook it, and then you just couldn't see shit. You just saw brown. And they're talking about how it was, like, bugs, parasites, termites, and dirt. From everyone touching it. You couldn't see anything. So, okay. I went to the next. I went to this other booth. This other table. Yeah, shit ton of books. And I picked up this one book. It was an entire like entire the entire story of the, the people who made the NES game, uh, the Batman NES game, telling their entire story of of in the making and everything. Uh. Really interesting looking, actually. Hardcover. Asked the guy who how, how much it was. This is all a bunch of college students, by the way. Uh, at this table playing Yu-Gi-Oh or something. And I asked them. I asked him how much. He said ten. So okay, I'm go back to my place and uh, I have my ten at my house. And uh, then he said like uh, he said something, and I'm like what? And he said it again, and I was just like okay, I didn't, I didn't hear it, but I just left. And then I ended up at the UTSA, like, ha some hallway thing. Uh, I was trying to get out, try like, two blocks from there apparently was my house. Uh, I don't know, it was either my house or I was trying to find um, our place where we were staying. But I'm pretty sure I was trying to find our house. That's what I had in my, in my mind. I couldn't find it. I eventually exited the hallway. Well, I couldn't exit because the fucking doorknob was, like, super high up. I think it was locked. Then some, like, nurse secretary lady, like, had, like, these long sticks to unlock it or some crap, and then uh, she threw me one, and I tried to unlock it, and it didn't work, and, I, and then, like, I finally got it undone, and I o opened the door, and there's this huge, like, hill. It's a gigantic fucking hill, and I was, like, super pissed already because I couldn't find my house. Uh... Yeah, and then, uh, Claudia from Jeff was there. She was, um, she was actually trying to help me. Uh, and then, like, I was climbing the hill, and I, like, on the hill, at that point, everything fucking changed. All around me was, like, it was like an, 
Egyptian-esque sort of like vacation areas, like tons of pools and people dancing and shit to the left of me and then a bunch of people on the hill studying, just sitting down, but it just rained so it was like muddy and gross. Like all the rocks just like crumbled. So climbing was actually pretty dangerous, you could just die if you fell. I was telling Claudia, I'm like, I can't, I can't climb it. I'm, I'm gonna die if I go all the way up there. She's like, no, 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 come on, come on. I'm like, no, I, I, I'm gonna fucking fall. I can't do that. So we just kept going along the hill, and then eventually we got to the bottom or something. And then uh, we, uh, I saw like an exit that looked familiar that I thought would take me out of there. Uh, by the way, there's like walls everywhere, walls covering all of it, sort of thing. And then. <clears throat> So then I, uh, I didn't want to get wet, but she had no problem with getting wet, so I wet my shoes and that was it. And then, uh, I was jumping over some, like, little like, pool things, some fountain crap, and then, uh, this like, huge pool was there, and I just latched onto, like, the top of a palm tree, and, like, I, I pretty much went all the way over the pool most of the, most of the way, and grabbed onto some other tree and got back out. <coughs> And then, uh, what was it? Uh, and then there was like this huge pool. Like I couldn't really not get wet, so I was fucking fucked. Jumped in the pool. I went like really far under. Uh, and then I actually like inhaled like water, like a whole breath. But I, I, was I step, I kept, like, I didn't choke or anything. It, 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 it was it, seemed like the water. Like I was like I was like a fish. I could just inhale water. It was crazy. And I got out of the water and I was swimming toward the exit. And then I think that's when I woke up. That was it. Really bizarre. But yeah, I didn't want to leave the uh, canopy site for a while because I thought I uh, thought that, that, that I thought there were gonna be black people walking around. Legitimately, that that was my fear. It's funny because it was like kind of like a ghetto area. And once it turned into, like, the UTSA part of the dream, everything just fucking changed. But yeah, uh, Claudia was a bro. Helped me, helped me out. Then by, like, the end, when I got in the palm tree, like, her boyfriend was there, like, saving her. I was like, oh, fuck you. And that's pretty much it.